This presentation has been uh, prepared with uh, support of Kazakhstan Ministry of Industry and Infrastructural Development, which is the competent authority in charge of mining uh, mining sector in Kazakhstan. Uh, and uh, I'm going to, uh, to, over, to, 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 to to present you some the, the ideas on how uh, the, the, the government of Kazakhstan would like to facilitate especially foreign foreign investment in, in, in Kazakhstan. This is this is the current status quo of what we have now in uh, solid minerals uh, subsoil use projects. Uh, in the past we had before 2000, uh, 2019 we had uh, so-called contracting uh, legal regime of uh, for, 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 for performing subsoil use activity and uh, about 500 subsoil use contracts uh, are still existing from that times. Uh, it's from uh, 1991 till uh, 2019. <laughs> and then Kazakhstan decided to switch to so-called Australian model of, uh, before, of, of conducting uh, subsoil use activity in Kazakhstan, especially for solid minerals, and switch to, to the licensing regime. Uh, it's quite simple, quite uh, clear, uh, you, 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 you can simply apply for any territory which is, which is uh, like uh, in, in, in the area of your interest. Uh, uh, you, you file the standard package of documents and simply get the license uh, within two weeks time. Uh, there is a minimal expenditure requirement and uh, six years of uh, exploration period which was uh, uh, with with the exclusive right to extend it and then to switch to mining license, and from 2019 till today, Kazakhstan already granted uh, almost 2,000 exploration licenses and 51 uh, mining licenses already. So it's just for for this three three years period, and uh, uh, taking into into account pandemic and uh, some restrictions which uh, Minister of Industry had uh, during the last two years. This, is, this, this shows how, how fast uh, Kazakhstan is uh, releasing new territories for, for, for foreign investors and local ones as well. And this is the amount of minimum annual investment under this uh, one, one, uh, 1800 licenses, exploration licenses, it's about 15 billion tenge a year. Uh, this slide shows we, we have so-called like uh, uh, um, interactive uh, ge geological map of Kazakhstan, which is available online always, uh, and Ministry of Industry uh, update this information like uh, I think monthly, and uh, it shows the the the, the, the av available territory on of Kazakhstan, uh, which is which is available for exploration and for mining. Uh, total area is 2.7 2 million square kilometers and uh, half of them is available for subsoil use. Some other territories, most probably it's like cities and uh, uh, environmentally uh, sensitive areas, etc. And uh, we already released about 75% of that territory, I mean among 1.3 million square kilometers. And about 25% 25, um, uh, 25 is going to be released in March next year. Uh, and uh, the, go the government would like to, to make, uh, to improve even, to make it even better than we have, in, we have now, uh, to make uh, digitalization of this process. So you don't need, you don't need to, to file the documents in hard copies. Uh, it just simply will be available on the, on the uh, Kazakhstan government's uh, website, and uh, this first come first serve principle will be in reality ensured by the by the by, by the IT IT uh, infrastructure, which is now in, in in quite fast development. And this is what government would like to to achieve by 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 uh, improving. Uh, uh, legal regime and uh, implementation of law in in, in, in mining uh, sector in like in already existing uh, deposits. We have we still have like package a number of 
exist existing deposits with industrial uh, resources and they will be released in, in an open online auction soon. Um, the, the deadline for this is like about, I think, 12 months, not months, months 12, the whole 2023. We still, as you remember, I showed it in the, in the previous slides, we had this four, almost 500 subservice contracts and uh, 85 of them uh, has been, uh, already have been terminated by the government for, for failure to, to achieve this, uh, uh, to, to fulfill these investment obligations. And this, this so-called like Soviet, uh, existing from Soviet times uh, deposits, some of them are huge, large uh, solid mineral deposits will be, will be released for, for alternative investors in Kazakhstan. Uh, it means that I, my feeling is that they, they, they have been like, uh, to some extent protected by so-called old Kazakhstan. And since now we, we, we are going to, uh, to improve uh, everything which is related to natural resources area, uh, this will be available for, for new, uh, new investors. Then uh, the auction method for, for, for granting of subsoil use rights will be, will be prolonged for, for another few years. And the, 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 the target of Kazakhstan government it is to release everything now in, uh, and uh, to, to grant it for local and foreign investors, both, for, for both group of investors uh, in, to, to do these exploration projects and uh, production. And then just to monitor uh, this uh, fulfillment of their obligations and, and uh, like, uh, to, 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 to keep this going, like online, digitalized, etc. Uh, and, uh, and then, yeah, that, 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 that brings the, the, um, the requirement to make this online format of, uh, of communication with subsoil users, etc. This is what will be like, uh, <coughs> what will be uh, like six stages of what Minister of Industry told me that they're going to, to, to make uh, available. It's, it's in, in fact already adopted, uh, adopted uh, like uh, within the ministry, but it will be it will be available online as well. Now you, you can still have like this access to interactive map uh, with blocks available for exploration. So one, one block is uh, two, two square kilometers. Uh, any investor is, is allowed to file application for up to 200 blocks uh, and you are not limited uh, by, by number of licenses so it's like huge territory is available for first come first serve in Kazakhstan. Uh, secondly, the granting of subsoil use right will be, will be done uh, automatically as well so it will be like online license uh, provided to the investor. Third, uh, there will be uh, online uh, monitoring of, uh, of, of, of these uh, subsoil use contracts and initiating of any amendments which investor would like to, to, to initiate uh, in front of, of the government. Then transition of license uh, to, uh, or, 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 yeah, from, from license regime to, uh, to, to contract, uh, from contract, subsoil use contract to license will be online as well and then monitoring and transfer of subservice right will be available uh, online as well and uh, regarding geopolitical geopolitical impact of on on on, on Kazakhstan uh, with regard to everything what happens now in Russia and especially what what happened in January in Kazakhstan uh, well first of all uh, it seems that Kazakhstan is still uh, quite developed uh, in, 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 in part of infrastructure or in part of legal regime which is based uh, on Australian model in part of legal uh, law implementation and, uh, and experience uh, in, in comparison with other Central Asia countries. Uh, secondly, we still underdeveloped, uh, under, underexplored uh, huge territories still like uh, there, there was no, there's, there, there, there are huge data uh, which wasn't 
I think wasn't available for foreign investors in the past due to some uh, legal restrictions like I know uh, yeah, this so-called KGB uh, secured documents, uh, which is now which is now available for everyone. Uh, and it seems that in March next year, uh, this this in information will be released in in public uh, uh, like online online database. And this brings a huge uh, huge amount of new information on what 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 was missed uh, during Soviet exploration uh, times. And uh, the third one, Kyrgyzstan is 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 still rich for so-called green metals and all other uh, types of solid minerals. And I think this gives a uh, quite big opportunity for Kyrgyzstan to, to develop a uh, solid mineral uh, sphere uh, further. And uh, well, President Takayev, uh, he, he was re-elected like a week ago in Kyrgyzstan for another seven years. And there are still some debates, I think, within the president, administration, and government on what will be the next, like, main focus of Kazakhstan government uh, as, as the uh, like main driver of further Kazakhstan growth, uh, growth of Kazakhstan economy. And uh, uh, I believe that uh, solid minerals activity, like mining, mining sector, uh, might be one of the like top five priority for Kazakhstan, uh, new uh, president and new government, uh, and I think that they, they are going to improve it uh, further. So this is, this is what, uh, what, uh, what I would, would want to disclose. Thank you.